Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to create infinite logo carousel in Wix Studio. So as you can see, this is just a sample that I have created. So I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide and how you can do this one as well. Okay, so let me just go back to my Wix Studio. Okay, so right here. Now that you have done logging in to your account, just click on the create new site option and click on studio blank canvas. So next thing is we have to add an element so we can add here images, logos, and more. So for this one, I'm just going to use images. I'm just going to copy this one and paste. I'm going to have four copies of this image. Okay, and then I'm going to put it right here. So just make sure that the images or the elements or the logos that you have added are all aligned. Okay, so let me just arrange it. And after that, we have to stock this element. Okay, to stock this one is you just have to simply press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and then select the images. And then just click on stock. That's right. And now that we have stuck this elements, all we have to do is to upload here now the images or the logo that we want to appear in the carousel. So I'm just going to use Media from Wix and using the search bar at the top, I'm just going to type out food. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this one. You just have to click on it and click on update. Okay, next one, I am going to use a different image for this element right here. Just don't forget that you can upload your own media, okay? I'm just using this one since I don't have any logo yet. Okay, so I made a mistake. This one's supposed to be here, so I'm just going to click on change image. And then I'm going to select the same one. Okay, so I'm just going to change the image right here. And then I'm going to use this once again. And then just click on update. Okay, so for the last one, I'm going to use the second image and click on update. Now that we have successfully uploaded our images and we have stuck this element, so you just have to click on this one right here at the top right and click on the animations and effects. Now head over to the loop effect. Okay, so just click on this one and click on the add option. Okay, so just click on add after that and then select cross this one. Okay, now we have to adjust the animation. Okay, so we have here the direction, the duration, and the repose delay. So for the duration, I'm going to adjust it to 7 seconds. And for the direction, it should be from left or from right. So it's up to you. Next is we can preview this one. Okay, so now that we are done, we just have to click on this stock images and then just have to click on copy and paste to have a duplicate copy for this element. So you just have to put it right here. Okay, then after that, let us try to preview this one. So as you can see, we have successfully created an infinite carousel image for this section. So now if we want to add a text carousel or logo carousel, we just have to click on edit side once again. And I would like to add here a text carousel at the top of these images. So I'm just going to click on text and I think I'm going to use the heading one. Or is it too big? So I'm going to change it to heading two. Okay, so let me just change the heading before adding an animation. Okay, so I'm going to type out a tech guide and for the heading, I am going to select heading 2 or heading 3. Okay, so I'll be using heading 3 for now. And then after that, okay, I forgot to add the letter E. So let me just correct the guide spelling. Okay, and let me adjust the box of this text. Okay, and the next thing that you should do is we just have to do the same. You just have to copy and paste. Okay, and then just going to put it right here. Okay, that's right. Next, just click on paste again. Okay. 
and then paste and paste now the next thing that we should do is we have to stock this text so we just have to press and hold the shift button and select all of this text okay so just make sure that you have selected all of this text before clicking on stock okay that's right and then now that this text has been stuck together then just have to click on it and click on the animation and effects now head over to the loop section and click on add and select crossed okay now you just have to click on the edges animation so as you can see we did not include the other text guide so i'm just going to leave that one and i'm just going to change the direction so it should be from right okay so just don't mind this tech guide right here okay so that is a mistake so let me just try to remove it okay so i think we can add um edit this right now so let me just adjust this text right here so that is why it is very important to stock all of the elements that you need for the carousel okay so let me just duplicate this one since we already added the animation for this element okay so i'm just going to simply click on copy and then paste to create a duplication of this text okay and then we're just going to put it right here so after that we just have to click on the preview icon at the top right so since all of these images are just sample you have to remember that you have to prepare your logos uniform size ensure that all of your logos are of the same size to maintain the consistency a uniform aspect ratio will make your carousel look more professional and for the transparent backgrounds use png files with transparent backgrounds for logos to ensure they blend seamlessly with your carousel's design and to optimize for web compress the logos to reduce the file size without losing the quality and this will help your carousel to load faster so after setting up your carousel test it thoroughly check for smooth transitions proper alignment and responsive design so make any necessary adjustments based on your observations so by following these guidelines you can create a polished user-friendly logo carousel that enhances the professional look of your wix website so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below. Bye.